there everybody, I'm Keychain. Today I'm going to be doing an egg opening video. Um, I've been hoarding these up for a while. And I'm not just doing the gold ones, I'm doing all the blues, purples, all of it. So hopefully that works out. Um, but yeah, it. Uh, I have no idea if any of these ants are even any good. Uh, I'm guessing like most games, um, you know, blues and greens aren't very good. Purples are situational. And then of course we're going for straight gold ants so that's fingers crossed that's what we're after um the other thing you'll see is a progress bar across the top is apparently only once a week do they do ant hatching uh as the the evolution daily quest thing so i had to wait and kept hoarding these until there was actually a quest that would give me some additional rewards for these so it, uh, it was definitely a lot more hoarding than I was planning, um, but, you know, here it is. Now, actually talking about some of the ants, I'm going through these kind of quick. Um, if it's blue or green or spore or whatever, I'm just clicking through it. Um, heck, even on some of the purples, I think I just click right through. But it is a lot of stuff, <laughs> and I was able to, I was able to increase so many of my um my main gold ant i was able to unlock a skill increase one skill all the way to level 10 and i think i got some others to like five or six because it was just it was so much stuff that i was sitting on because i didn't know when to open it um and then when i finally did figure it out and, and figure out when it was going to be coming up it was like five days away so i had just missed it <laughs> so Oh man, um, but yeah, still going through these and lots of greens, green, 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 blue. Here comes a purple. So that was a black armor and I actually didn't have that one. So that one was decent. But you'll see that a majority of these ants, um, I have them already. They're just converted into, um, into shells so that we can use that to gain um, more materials, more spores to level them up, uh, and use those shells to increase the abilities that I do have unlocked or unlock new abilities on new gold ants. So that one was decent. And here comes a slim arched. So I don't think I had this one. Um, I probably should have looked at it a little closer, uh, but most of these I was out and about while I was doing these. Um, so I was just recording and then you know, come back to do the footage later or to do the voiceover. Now, the other piece of this, um, eventually I'm going to look through all of the special ants and do a video series on them and give my opinions on which ones I think are good and which ones might pair well together. Um, I'm trying to learn a little bit more about the game and fighting before I make that set of videos. Um, so after this one, the next video I'm probably going to do is, uh, I think I'm going to do one on evolution and my opinions on what I think is good in evolution and what should be focused um, and kind of the order I went in and the order that uh, that I'm going for the future. So that'll be something to look out for if you're new to the game or if you're joining me from um, my older game. But still going. We got so many things opening here, but they're all shells. Um, blues and greens all day long. And you also see that when I flip between, uh, you know, days that the meter starts over or when I switch between hours, um, it is a nice system to gain extra rewards for opening. I do like that piece of it, um, getting free resources and speed ups and other things just for, you know, waiting and not opening eggs just as I get them, like actually saving them up and you get free rewards. So that piece I really like. Now, um, man, the next opening video I do, though, I'm not going to do any blues or purples. I'm just going to save gold eggs and do straight gold eggs uh, because I can tell right now that this is not super exciting just watching tons of blue ants. It's just blue and green ants all day long. And the same one. I think that big head guy is my most common pull of... Um, 
of Blue Ant. I see him all the time. Or maybe he's just the most memorable um, when these other ones pop up. Uh, probably because his head is massive and <laughs> popping on screen. But, you know, it's not his fault. It is what it is. Um, in this kingdom, um, some things to talk about while we're watching these. Uh, I did switch off of my own alliance. Um, nobody was joining, and it was hurting progress. So I've joined um, the number one alliance on the server, and it makes a huge difference. So here we got the driver ant. Um, that one I think is really good for my lineup. Um, I've kind of checked him out a little bit. He's uh, he's going to support my team really well, but I need to work on my research to unlock my third march slot for my primary march. So that's something that I'm working towards so that I have that for the tree when the tree happens. I definitely don't um, don't want to have an underpower underpowered march um, for fighting for the tree because you end up losing troops against people with higher march caps. And there you saw we, we got the Reap Master, and that one wasn't too long after the other one, so that was actually really lucky. Um, up until that point, I had only gotten gold ants from the pity system. So when I when I made it to 30, that's when I would get one um, from opening the, uh, the gold eggs. So that was actually really lucky, and I'm kind of happy with that. And then we're back to... Greens. Back to greens and blues. Um, greens and blues for days. But I think I completed this quest like seven times with all the eggs I had saved. So that part was fantastic. Um, so I have a lot of the um, the special eggs that you can use to unlock shards of specific ants. Uh, and then this one I accidentally skipped through. But I got a copy of gold armor. And I got that from a blue egg which the chances of that happening are so super, super tiny and slim that I should have highlighted that one more. Like, that was fantastic. But I think when it happened, I just kind of blazed through it, and I didn't really realize how significant it was or what had happened. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, an, uh, another duplicate ant. But then I didn't really look that it was gold until rewatching the footage. And then I got a ton of the Kiwi honeydew stuff. Um, those tiny level two ones are like barely any experience. Uh, if I go kill a level 15 threat, I get like, I don't know, 56,000 experience. Um, and those little Kiwi honeydew things are like barely anything. So getting those from eggs is the worst. Um, it, it's, it doesn't have much value. Uh, it's one thing I think that has room for improvement is... Um, getting more value out of some of these lower eggs, the blue and purple eggs. Um, I think that there's definitely room for improvement there. Um, it'd be nice if they, you know, either either watch this or want to have a chat with me about some things I think could be different. Um, but a reward or an item that you get from these eggs should feel like a reward. It should feel like you should be happy when you're opening these. Um, and that's not always the case. So, um, but yeah, being new to the game, I, I don't think that they'll want my ideas right now. But maybe in the future, um, I'll be able to sit down and have a talk with them and give some of my ideas and some things that I think could be improved. Um, we are getting towards the end of this video. Um, so, hopefully, you liked the mass opening. Let me know if you'd like something different. I think already, though, next time it'll be just gold eggs because opening the blues and the purples doesn't seem to be very exciting. So I'll open those all separate and then save all the gold eggs and do that um, all at once. And I think we're on our last set of eggs right here. Um, I don't remember getting anything amazing, but I could be wrong. Oh, never mind, I lied. Jack Jumper. Um, I saw another video and said this guy was really, really good. So I'm excited to try him out. Although he is ranged and I'm carrier, so, you know, might not be the best. But okay, um, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.